this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to make buying and selling now, because last time we made currency. Now we're going to make some selling. So, there's an invisible item that I should probably fix, but for now we're going to go on with it. So right now we have our player currency. So now in our inventory, we can set currency for this item 1. So let's say, um, string item 1. Or well, let's say, sorry, that's static int item 1. Um, let's call it currency. Currency is equal to, let's say you need $10 to buy that. So now we have a currency. So now, if we want to buy and sell, we can go down here. It says if item one is added is true, and if item used is true. I actually take that back, and we need to find the pickup. So right here, we need to say, and play or yeah, player currency is equal to or greater than ten. Sorry, greater than or equal to ten. And then we need to write player currency minus equals. item one currency. So this is going to basically take the player currency and minus it so we actually lose the amount. Let's try it now. Um, so we're going to quickly go over to here and we're going to go click around a little bit. There we go, it minus 10. And now it's not minusing 10 because we already have the item. But if we check our inventory, it says item one is added. So, um, yeah, that was a really simple tutorial, but you can do this now. You can also sell items. You can make some sort of selling system. So, like a vendor, you click the item, and it goes in there and sells what. That's the basics to it. Thanks for watching.